Share some of their resources. Would they really agree to it? That is the biggest problem we have to face. But we have Emily as the translator for the aliens with her eloquence, and I'm sure we can convince them. Thank you, Olivia. I'll try my best. Plus, we also have Sophie's brilliant fingering mind. We promise to protect Earth. As long as we work together, everything will be fine. Sure. sure. Ambassadors, I'm Emily from Earth. Welcome to this planetary summit. If every planet is willing to donate the materials needed, we will be able to build a galactic mechanical city, a self-sustaining machine. planet, so the whole universe can have better development. You can have a look at this proposal. Mm, I'm 
from the silver mine. Why should we assist Earth when we are already facing a serious shortage? Why should this be built on Earth first? We are on the same boat. Of course, we will take care of you, but at a later time. I am from the Andes students. What if you fail to help us after you have succeeded? Earth will be too powerful compared to our planets. We always keep our promises. I am from the Jungle Planet 4. Do you really have ability to build a galactic mechanical city? We will be in a dire situation if you fail and waste all our resources. Oh, don't worry. Sophie and Olivia are genius inventors. They will successfully build a city. Actually, the situation in our planet is not that urgent. Maybe we should discuss about this first. At first, we, the people of Earth, share the same fault as you. We are not the consequences and destroyed our mother nature. However, the weather started to become abnormal, and every country was running out of food. We deeply regret our action, so we do not want other planets to follow our footsteps. What do you think, Ting El? Um, it would be considered if supercomputers were in the galactic mechanical city, which will Supercomputer? Good idea! Wow! Yeah! It's okay, right? That's okay. We promise to make supercomputers, and the city will maintain by them. We will hand over all the labor works to supercomputers. Then everyone can relax without having to do any jobs and duties. Really? That sounds great. No more chores. I can go on long trips. The supercomputer will do everything for us. No money, no dangers. Pretty good. You see, everyone loves supercomputers. We did not include in giving them any supercomputer in the plan, Emily. Look how happy they are. After they heard that there would be super computer given to them, they will agree to cooperate only if they're super computers. We invite them to work with us for the universe's sake, not ours. Not to mention it's easy to build that many super computers. You didn't even ask for our opinions. Just lie to them first. We will think of a solution when we will successfully build a city. You are thinking of telling lies? How could you? What other can you think of then? Stop arguing! How can we convince others if we are not united? <sighs> okay, then I will tell them you are not giving them supercomputers. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. No supercomputers are going to be built in Galactic Mechanical City. What? No supercomputer? Then I may have to check about your proposal again. Same here. If that's the case, I think the meeting is over. But the plan is really perfect. Please don't leave. It's time to leave. Bye bye. No, no please don't leave. Uh, Sophie, no. what should we do now? Okay. There will be many supercomputers. We will produce many supercomputers in order to have all of your work in everyday life. Okay then, no problem. I'm in. Me too. I will join too. We are looking forward. I have decided, we do not need supercomputers. We can manage ourselves. I'm not going to work with you. Goodbye. What should we do now? The metalists have the most important material for the construction. We must get their support. Let me go talk to him. Let's return to Earth for now. There's still so many studies to work on. Okay.
Sophie, you have already been working for hours. Please rest for a while. I have to find out how to build a supercomputer to persuade the other planets to cooperate. I know you're smart enough to figure it out. You and Emily work so hard, and I'm faith in you too. Seems like I'm the one who's having so much. I'm 100% supporting you. Together we can do no matter what face to. With this company hands, all things can be done. <laughs> The friendship makes us true. I'm so worried about Emily. I just wonder if she can persuade King Metal. Another is our most popular property. <laughs> Thank you all. I will try my very best to build the perfect Galactic Mechanical City for all of us and for our home. Enough talking. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> Good news. Good news. Emily, King Mel has finally agreed to cooperate and find a path to us. Oh yes. Thank you for your effort, Emily. Don't mention it. You two are also working day and night here in the lab. How did you manage to persuade King Metal? Uh, come on, just tell us. Mm, actually, I have another news for you. What's wrong? We have to move to another planet. What? After the Galactic Mechanical City is built. What? Why? Why? Because Earth will no longer belong to us by then. Oh, make clear, Emily. What's happened? King Metal agreed to help us because... The Galactic Mechanical City really needs the raw material from your planet. King Metal. Well, if you promise to fulfill my requirements, it's not entirely impossible for me to cooperate with you. What is it? You have to give Earth to us, the Metalists, as a gift by the time Earth has finished building the Galactic Mechanical City. I will give your people a small planet on outer space to live in. Do you want to exchange your raw material with our planet Earth? Then... You heard me right. If you can build a galactic mechanical city on Earth, you can build one on other planets. It's not necessary for you to live on Earth, right? Never mind. Forget I said anything. We are not cooperating. Please, leave. Wait! Okay. Let's make a deal. <laughs> sure. <laughs> make it a point yourself to represent everyone on Earth. You have betrayed us. I'm just trying to look out for everyone. Earth 
earth is our home, I will never leave. We had just learned to treasure earth. Now you're forcing us to leave? Whenever we end up, as long as we stuck together, we still the same. We have never been in space. Is it really suitable for us to move to another planet to leave? You will die because we are not able to adapt to a new environment. We can start again and avoid all of our previous mistakes if we try. You are going too far, Emily. You never think of others when you make decisions. You do everything because in your mind, you think it is right. You promise King Mao because of your own ambition. And you don't want us to feel disappointed in you. I will not wear with people like you. I will never leave Earth. Sophie, Sophie we, we will not either. either. No. Wait. I don't see any disadvantages to sacrifice Earth for the safety of the universe. I'm just thinking of the best interests for all of you. Olivia. Of course, you're not wrong at all. But I'm sure there must be other methods which doesn't require us to affect it from our own planet. The purpose of building the galactic mechanical city is to have Earth be reborn. Earth is a unique place for human race. We simply can't just replace it with a random planet. <sighs> no, Olivia. Clouds your minds to do the right decisions. I am only helping you with the first step, as you cannot reason with them. Please give me some time, King Mao. I can convince them. <sighs> to be honest, I never thought of working with you from the beginning. I never had any interest in that galactic mechanical city. I put a 
forth the idea of adding supercomputers just to let the others agree. Only I own the last resources you need. You will be begging oh. and give me anything Emily. I want. So you were lying to me this whole time? We, Metalers, survived by annexing other planets. Take them away! Oh. <laughs> oh. I promised to protect Earth. It's the time to take my word and show what I've got. Oh. Oh. Emily! <laughs> She has the right to. I'm the one who put Earth in danger. And I should take all the blame. <coughs> what a shame. I wish we could have played a little longer, but it's... No, it's not! Sophie! Sophie! Sophie. What, what? That supercomputer! Destroy it! Thanks to the idea of building the supercomputer. My supercomputer can destroy all the metals. I finally create this, the guardian of our galaxy. I never asked you to build ah! the supercomputer for defeating us. We worked so hard on building the Galactic Mechanical City and supercomputer because we all have something we want to protect. I will never let you ruin our home. Ah! Supercomputer. Actually, the supercomputer is not completely assembled yet. I had to put it in action due to this sudden attack. Seems like I'm gonna build a new one later. I'm sorry, Sophie. Your work is in vain because of me. Everyone, please forgive me. I betrayed Earth and put all of you in a dangerous situation. I don't deserve you guys and be part of the Galactic Mechanical City. No, Emily. Broken supercomputer can be fixed, as well as the mistake you have made. Our friendship is never going to change no matter what happens. The Galactic Mechanical City will be built by our sweat and tears. No one is allowed to be absent. Now, we have lost the resources from King Metal. You can possibly run away from the responsibility of helping Earth. We need you to stay and plan the future of our planet together. So, will you all forgive me? No. <sighs> Until our Galata Mechanical City is successfully built. <laughs>
special thanks to them. Let's also welcome our teachers on the stage. Thank you.